Hey y'all, it is time for another non-beauty favorites um, for the month of October. Um, so this is basically, in case you guys have not seen one of these, it's basically where I go over um, any sort of random favorites like music and TV um, and movies and things like that um, that I've had for the past month or so. Um, and I feel like it's been a while um, since I've done one of these. I don't know. Um, it's just been a while since I've filmed anything for this channel in general um, besides my last vlog. Um, but yeah, for music, I've been loving more. The song took a little bit to grow on me, um, but I actually really like it now. Um, yeah, it's self-explanatory, whatever. Um, yeah, I just like it, so there's that. Um, it's kind of corny, but it has a positive message and all that jazz, so there's that. Um, I've also been loving We Were Us by Keith Urban and Miranda Lambert. First of all, Keith is one of my favorite artists of all time, and I freaking love Miranda, so this, the fact that they did a song together is kind of awesome, so yeah, I really, really like that song, um, and they sound good together, and I can't wait to see them perform it on the ACMs, which will be really soon, in like a week or so, so stick for that. Um, I've also really been liking Demons by Imagine Dragons. I said this on Twitter, like, a couple of days ago, but, um, I feel like Demons is the middle child in between Radioactive and It's Time. Both of those two songs are completely different, but when you put both of them together, you kind of get Demons. Um, in terms of, like, combining the vocals from, like, Radioactive and a little bit of the instrumentation and melody from It's Time. Um, but yeah, it's just, like, a good happy medium between the two. I don't like It's Time personally, and I love Radioactive, so... Yeah, um, there's that. Um, I've also finally been getting into Wasting All These Tears by Cassidy Pope. Um, she, in my, uh, in my opinion, is, first of all, one of the best winners that's come out of The Boys so far, and the most talented. Um, I absolutely loved her ever since her first audition on the show. Um, and I think that going the country route was a very smart move for her, considering she was on Tim Blake, and she ended up doing a lot of country songs towards the end of the show. Um, and it might be, I mean, she can pretty much sing anything. She's got a great voice, um, and a very unique voice. Um, and I really like the song. Um, it's a good melody, and I think she sounds really great on it. Um, and she really sings her butt off on this song, so yeah, I've been liking that. And I've also been liking Wrecking Ball by Miley. I know she's been a hot mess lately, but I don't care. Um, I still like her songs, and Wrecking Ball's a really good song. You can't deny it, so there's that. Um, and The One That Got Away by The Silver Wars. <sighs> Guys, I have so many feels about this. <sighs> okay. First of all, in case you have not heard this song, um, and you watch ABC Family, I'm pretty sure you have heard it, but you don't know it. Um, it's been in all the promos for Ravenswood, and if you guys saw the first episode of Ravenswood, it's the song that played at the very end, which, OMG, can we talk about how amazing that ending was? Um, alright, I just have to we'll get back to Ravenswood in a minute. Um, but that song, um is so haunting and beautiful. I've said it before and I will say it again until I can't say it anymore. Um, those two were meant to make music together. It's something about their talent, the way they sing together, the way they write, the way they play together. It's just magic to me. It's so unique and beautiful and special. Um, and I'm really, really upset that they have been having some artistic differences lately. Um, they, um, you know, recorded all the stuff for their new material while they're going through a lot, you know, personally as a duo. Um, and I really, really hope that they can work things out because if any two people were meant to make music together, it's Joy and John Paul, hands down. Um, but yeah, loving that song, it's amazing. Um, and this entire album, you guys, you guys need to get this. I cannot stress, stress it enough. So I'm getting tongue-tied because I'm so excited and passionate about this album. Pure Heroin is, first of all, a brilliant title because it is extremely addictive, just like the drug. Um, this girl, 
it still blows my mind. She wrote these songs when she was 15 years old. Um, she just turned 17, and this album is amazing. Like, amazing. I can't even, you guys follow me on Twitter. <laughs> You've heard me rave about it for a while now. Um, I love it. I cannot, I cannot pick a favorite song. I just can't. Um, at the moment, I'm loving all of them. Sure, some will stand out to me more than others, you know. Um, over the course of the next few months or what have you. Um, but I would not be surprised if this gets an album of the year nomination at the Grammys in February. Um, I think the nominations come out next month or in December. Um, but she's definitely going to be up for Best New Artist. If she's not, I'm going to be sitting shiva or something um, and protesting. But um, I feel like I'm going about this album forever. Um, but just go get it. Honestly, you will not be disappointed. It's really, really amazing. Um, and, okay, for TV shows, alright, let's get back to Ravenswood. I was kind of skeptical about the spinoff. Um, first of all, I'm not a huge fan of Caleb, the character. He's just kind of there for me. I love Hannah. Um, so, you know, I liked their relationship and everything, but as far as them spinning off a series based on his character, I feel like there are other, like, supporting characters I would have liked to see a spinoff for, but that's just me. Um, but the pilot was really good. I honestly think that um, they did a really good job with it. I think that it's very intriguing, especially like the mysteries around Miranda's uncle. I like all of the characters already. I, really, I like Remy, I like Miranda, I like Caleb, I like all of them together. Um, so that's a huge plus, first off, for me, right off the bat. Um, so yeah, there's that, um, and that cliffhanger, oh my gosh, I don't want to spoil anything because you guys haven't seen it, um, but it was amazing, like, you kind of saw it coming, but, oh, see, okay, I feel like I have to spoil it now, because <laughs> I can't explain my, like, opinion, alright, spoiler alert, I'll wave my hands like this when I'm done, so you guys can mute this if you want, um, but, um, I kind of expected, since they were talking about the whole accident, um, that they were going to get into the accident once Luke and his sister got in the car because there were five of those teenagers on the bridge. Um, and you know, what's her name's mom just got home from the military, so it was like kind of duh, obviously it was going to happen. But um, for the crash to happen, like right then, like I don't know, it just still kind of took me off guard. I don't know, but yeah, you guys can unmute it now if you were pausing it or muting it. Um, so yeah, I'm really liking the show. Um, I'm definitely intrigued to see um, who died. First of all, I have a feeling that it's um, what's her name, Luke's sister. See, I don't even, I can't even remember her name right now. Um, but I have a feeling that it's her. Um, and but yeah, I'm curious to see how that's gonna play into the rest of the series. I feel like it's kind of starting out with pretty little lives that way, with Allison being dead at the, you know dead um at the <laughs> beginning of the first season um and now with the ravens but it's kind of the same thing but i'm still intrigued by it um and yeah oh okay on a somber more serious note can we just have a moment of silence for the end of breaking bad okay um <laughs> yeah i feel like i can do a whole separate vlog on the show and the finale but I won't, um, because I have talked about it ad nauseum on this channel, um, but it's honestly one of the best shows of all time, at least in the past ten years, in my opinion. Um, yeah, it was, the finale was kind of disappointing, like, I love the way it ended for Jesse, I'm really, really happy about that, because he ended up being one of my absolute favorite characters, it's not, it's not my favorite, period, period, but, um, the rest of it was kind of, eh, yeah, um, parts of it were a little bit anticlimactic, but it was still overall, like, I don't know, maybe you have to go back and watch it again, and sometimes you go back and watch finales a second time, you see things differently and your opinion changes, but, um, honestly, overall, this show is incredible, I love it, um, and then The Walking Dead has returned, and I'm so excited, um, but this video is already 10 minutes long. Um, so I will save that for the next favorites. Um, so yeah, until then, 
um, well not until then because that'll be a month from now but um, how do I wrap this up now um, until then we'll pick up the conversation on The Walking Dead but in general hopefully I will see you guys soon bye